and give you the word that God give me for this hour. The Holy Ghost already done its work. I'm just going to put a word out there for somebody. The theme that we have for 2014, dwelling in the secret place. But the Lord give me this word to encourage somebody. Take it from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Be strong in the Lord. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mind. This is the follow declaration. Hot, hot, Declaration for 2014. Hallelujah to God. And so I'm just making a proclamation and I take this. Be strong in the Lord. As the Apostle Paul wrote to the Ephesian church. When I come with a word from God for this hour this morning, it's no time to play church, but it's time to hide in the secret place. If you dwell in the secret place, that's where you get strength. Hallelujah. In the secret place, you have divine energy. In the secret place, you have divine protection. Hallelujah. When you're dwelling in secret place, you have an intimate relationship with God. Hallelujah. When you're dwelling in a secret place, you have revelation that the ordinary man can't receive. Hallelujah. So since God instructs us that we must dwell in a secret place, it means that God has something in the air. Hallelujah. You can't fight the devil. 2014 playing church hallelujah so God said to tell somebody hallelujah. that if this is the time and this is the hour to get strength to fight warfare hallelujah for the adversary is out like a roaring lion there no weakling can fight war Everybody's going to the gym. They want to improve their muscle. But in order to improve your Holy Ghost muscle, you got to take the word of God. Hallelujah. You need spiritual vitamins. Hallelujah. The spiritual vitamins is the word of God. Yes. I know you go to the health food store to get the fat best vitamins. You need vitamin C, you need vitamin D, but all of the vitamins that you need to be strong is in the word of God. For the Bible tells me the word is quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Hallelujah. In 2014, in order for you to overcome, you got to be armed up with the word. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I heard what a Paul instruct us. Is that for we wrestle? Not against flesh and blood. Oh Lord, have mercy. You are not my enemy. Hallelujah. We are fighting against principalities and powers. Hallelujah. Pray with the white church. Hallelujah. Every time you come, expect warfare. Hallelujah. Those of us who know warfare, when I walk in the house this morning, there was a cloud hangover, a cloud of depression, a cloud of oppression. But I come against hot I come against the kingdom of darkness. No longer can the devil have a feast day. Let the church of glory shout glory. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. 
You have to take the word of God for what it is. You have to take the word of God as your source of victory. You have to take the word of God as your weapon. Hallelujah to God. Let me say this. The king of darkness is fortified. The king of darkness is well organized. Hallelujah. But Jesus the Spirit is upon this rock. I build my church and the gates of hell shall not, cannot, yes, they will fight, they will come against us, but they cannot prevail. How you know? Because Jesus is clear it. Hallelujah. And the path of greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. So the apostle Paul knew that you've been fighting. He said, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war over the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, and we chose in a Pentecostal church, and the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty. It has been my prayer most week. The wives and the husbands, the devil have an all out attack, and the married couples, hallelujah. The devil know if he destroy the family, he's destroy the church, hallelujah. You can't see the devil, but he's at work right now. I'm looking for a man who will build up the edge and stand in the gap. I come to stand in the gap. We are not giving up one inch of ground to the enemy. I'm bombarding the gate of hell. I stand up at the gate of hell and I'm declaring hot car. These people belong to God. I'm declaring war. You must show that you are dwelling in the secret place. I say you must be sure that you are dwelling in the secret place. When you are in the secret place, you have ever missed that you are part of the enemy. No, let me repeat. Let me repeat. Come and rest. Men against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. So look what Paul said. Oh, wherefore, summon him again. Wherefore, take on to you the whole let the church and hold on. You can't have on a part. Lord have mercy. Yes. When you have on your hold on, you can walk in the devil's territory and let the devil know I'm fully armed and I'm extremely dangerous. Hallelujah. The United States, how about you call the stand bomb? Hallelujah! 
Lord, have mercy. The devil has all smart to my watch. Hallelujah. You know what I see the devil doing? is raising up a fence against folks when you are easily offended that's who the devil has you know what to do hallelujah but when you can understand that the devil is using offense to cause war you need to let the devil know I am against every offensive spirit and against every contrary spirit Lord have mercy when you are in the secret place you have on your own armor oh Lord preacher what is the armor the armor is the word of God Lord have mercy. When you are how about you? You're not easily offended. Because there's a spirit the devil set out of offense. He let Lawrence rise up against you. And you rise up against Lawrence. And Lawrence friend rise up with him. And sister Susan friend rise up with her. The spirit of offense will come against you. The spirit of we are warfare. We need business for God. Why we need all armor? That we may be able to stand. There are some folks who walk in the house today, but they can withstand nothing. Everything come that we're not them love. Everything told them. If somebody says something, they really are not coming back. But the devil is sending out a spirit of offense, a spirit of gossip. But we come against it. We must be able to withstand the gossip. We stand the liars. Hallelujah. We stand in the evil days. We don't have the armor of the world. Lord have mercy. Yes. You might feel cast down. But when you know that you know that you have on your get up. Tell your name my name. You might be down. But get up. It was all about 2,000 years ago. That the apostle Paul wrote this. But it's happening to me right now. If no day is evil now, that it may be with sun in the evil days. And having done all, Lord have mercy. Having done everything in your power, sun break, sun up. Somebody said, then forward still to Jehovah's will. No, the pillars dash and spread. But with a concrete train, we'll put our head and roll the sea away. Whenever you decide to live for God, expect a fight. Hallelujah. That's why the apostle Paul encourage us to be strong. Hallelujah. When you are in the secret place, you have consolation. When you are in the secret place, it means that you are standing tall. To be in the secret place, you must have unchangeable confidence in God. Hallelujah. When you are in the secret place, your faith must stand tall. It's more. Lawrence, you said something this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. The reason why you're under your talk. 
It's because you take a son for 2014. So God said to tell you, stay strong. There's much more to come. The warfare just became hotter. I feel God. I said, the warfare just Walking in faith. 
I'm not a wishy-washy person. If God said it, that settles it. And God said he'll never leave you, nor forsake you, but he'll be with you even unto the end of the world. So he said to us, as he said to the Ephesian church, above all, take it the shield of faith. Lord of mercy. This faith shield, this faith shield is the word of God. I don't have to see to believe it. God said the battle is his. So all I got to do is to walk in faith. And let the devil know that I'm a victorious person. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you're not a loser. You're a winner. You're not going under. You're going over. Lord have mercy. Take the shield of faith. Wear it. You shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Lord of mercy, the devil sending out some fiery darts, want to destroy you. But I heard you sing this morning some time ago. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love. All my protection from my Lord above. Jesus walks beside me every passing day. And I know he guide me all the way. Hallelujah. The power of the Most High is having assurance of his almightiness and that no weapon that formulates you shall prosper. Hallelujah. If you are dwelling in him and he's dwelling in you, you have almightiness, you have divineness, Lord of mercy. When you have almightiness and divineness, that's an awesome combination. Hallelujah. When the devil see you coming, he said, Here goes a child of God. Hallelujah. No more weaklings can survive as we enter 2014. God said to tell somebody, Be strong. Yes, your back is against the wall. You sometimes don't know what to do. But God said, I know about your situation. Hold on in faith. Don't give up. Somebody's at the crossroad. But God says, Say and be strong. Be encouraged. Oh Lord. When nobody is around, encourage you. Find a song. Somebody say, Need a song in your heart. Jesus. Lord have mercy. 
Let me have my peace. With the same instrument. 